friends, I'm Miss Danielle. Today we are going to be reading Elliot Jones' Midnight Superhero by Anne Cotringer, illustrated by Alex T. Smith. Thank you to Tiger Tales, an imprint of Me Media LLC, for, for permission to read today's story. By day, Elliot is quiet. He reads his books, he feeds his goldfish, he watches Mr. Smith wash his car. Elliot is such a quiet little thing, say all the grown-ups. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, bong! But when the clock strikes midnight, Elliot is a superhero. He hangs out of helicopters, he skis down glaciers, he returns teddy bears to babies. Sometimes the mayor needs Elliot's help. The the lions have escaped from the zoo, he cries. They're rampaging through the streets. Luckily, Elliot is an expert lion tamer. He leaps from his bedroom window, races through the screaming crowds, and comes face to face with the lions. He stares into the eyes of the roaring beasts. One by one, Elliot stops them in their tracks. He leads the lions back to the zoo as the crowds cheer. Sometimes the Coast Guard calls on his services. Help, they shout. A ship is about to crash onto the rocks. Luckily, Elliot is a champion swimmer. He dives into the towering waves, grabs the anchor, and tows the ship to safety as the sailors shout, Hooray! Sometimes the queen requires his assistance. A criminal mastermind has stolen the royal jewels, announces the royal butler. Luckily, Elliot is an excellent sleuth. He sneaks into the criminal mastermind's secret hideout. He follows the clues, track. He follows the clues, cracks the code, opens the safe, and returns the jewels to the grateful queen. Tonight, Elliot receives an urgent message from the world's most important scientists. A gigantic meteor is heading this way. It's going to smash into the earth. This is Elliot's most dangerous mission ever. Luckily, Elliot has a Luckily, Elliot has built a meteor-busting rocket launcher for just such occasions. Unluckily, it's hidden in a deep cave in the Himalayan mountains of Tibet. The only way to get there before the meteor strikes is by supersonic jet. Luckily, Elliot is a skilled jet pilot. Elliot sets off over the Atlantic, down to the Arabian Sea, across the Himalayas. Clouds are forming over the mountains. Elliot can barely see. Suddenly, a snow-capped peak flashes past his window. Another looms up straight ahead. Elliot dips his left wing and swerves just in time. To reach the cave, he must now land on the shortest, most dangerous runway in the world. He grips the controls. The wheels bump the ground. Screech! Elliot skids to a halt. The sky is blazing with the light of the meteor. Closer and closer it comes. Elliot can see the entrance to the cave far above him. Luckily, Elliot is a highly experienced mountaineer. He scrambles up the cliff face and into the cave. Elliot swings the barrel of the meteor busting rocket launcher toward the sky. He aims, he holds his breath, he waits until just the right moment he fires! Kapow! Elliot saves the world from destruction. Hooray! That was close. The queen gives Elliot an award for his courage and ingenuity. The earth trembles with deafening applause. But being a midnight superhero is very tiring. It doesn't leave Elliot with much energy. So by day, Elliot is quiet. Shh. The end.